your name? Yeah, my name is Afi uh, and I go on the Wikimedia that project. That is? Yeah. Akib Anjum Anjum Afi. Afi. Yeah. I study at Jamia Middle Islamia for the last four years. PhD? And, yeah, I'm currently in Masters. Masters? Yeah. In so, what stream? Uh, I'm in the Islamic studies. I have done my, you know, plus two with science, then had some interest in computer science, then got into English literature, and then finally I chose to study Islamic studies and history. Wow. So that made me to contributing towards Wikimedia projects, and there I found that there is a gap about Islamic scholars and in the a subjects. South Asian context, yeah, yeah, con yeah, context I, I, in an Indian context, I, I, I began with the Indian context. Yeah. yeah, there's nothing, no articles about Muslim freedom fighters, the Muslim scholars that contributed to development of Indian culture. This is in all languages or yeah. only in English? No, this Hindi. happens in all languages. Urdu, because because all, all the other languages in the Uyghur context, you know, they copy and paste and translate okay. from English. Okay. So when there's a uh, gap in English, it okay. automatically means it does exist on other Wikipedia as well, who take their content basically from English by translations. So the subject is orphaned in a certain sense, like because Pakistan would be looking at their traditions, yeah. and these kind of traditions are kind of orphaned. Yeah, so uh, that uh, got me the idea that we should begin to document uh, those scholars, those freedom fighters, those books I see. and institutions and bring those articles to a better status and then you know i personally Paris, uh, wrote over 110 articles on english wikipedia wow. i got two good articles as well wow. then i you know started participating on urdu as well i you know currently take care of the main page there i do the news section and on the english i do the in the news section i i mean i contribute to there with you know south asian uh, mentions and the did you know as well so back two years ago i thought that there this gap exists and though uh, the Dubandi scholarship of india it has contributed uh, at a global level this misunderstanding about these terms what yeah, exactly yeah, does yeah, it yeah. mean Dubandi? The, the, there's a misunderstanding Dubandi basically Dubandi is an institution of learning that was established in 1886 against the you know British colonialism. In which part of? It was uh, you know established in Durban in Uttar Pradesh. Uttar Pradesh. So from where it is someone who studied there, he got the label is that person is a Durban. I see. It seems someone who studies at IIT, yes. he's called an IIT. IITian. So scholarship that, tradition, as I think. Yeah, that that's tradition. scholarship tradition. So the people who studied there, they got to be called as Durbanis. And, and what then, was it particularly known for? Yeah, it was known for, at the start, beginning, uh, a center against British colonialism. I see. And a center that particularly focuses on the Islamic sciences. I see. Like, you know, Quran, and the sciences of Quran and Hadith and other sciences, right. the disciples of knowledge. So that's where they focused. And it produced a number of scholars that contributed to development of the social fabric in the country. I see. They went to the parliament, there was members of parliament, they participated in the freedom struggle, and they went to the universities, some established colleges as well, and some went outside India, they established institutions in South Africa, some in the UK as well. I see. So in that sense, this movement that began in... Huge intellectual tradition. That began in Durban, okay. it went far and beyond the world. I see. So currently, those scholars exist in South Africa, those exist in, in the US, Australia. So we began with that. It was a little focus, but of a global level. And so then, your user group is 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 a international kind of network. Yeah, yeah. it's an international kind of network, and we do not focus on a specific language. Language. Yeah. So uh, we focus on the theme at a global level, but. Uh, when uh, we got some challenges that how do we develop how okay. do we find a strategic di direction okay. and a trajectory that we needed for the development did anyone feel threatened because it is of a minority culture or no well 
Wikimedia Foundation, uh, yeah. particularly Tanvir and Manopreet and others, they've been quite helpful. Yeah. Because uh, this represents a portion of knowledge that is completely you know, underrepresented on Wikipedia and other projects. So it needs support. And and not only on Wikipedia, but in, in the intellectual in general, discourse. As well, there is misinformation okay. that needs to be, you know, we need to take care of that. And we need to provide... So how far has it grown? What are you all focusing on mostly? Well, uh, over the last two years, uh, we got the recognition in uh, January 2022. From then until, you know, till January 2023. That's a huge successful one year. I see. And we have got... Uh, to be known among the Wikimedia Foundation. I see. Uh, we participated in Moment Chapter consultations. And in that, that's pretty much good contribution of the Cuban community Wikimedia, that our uh, feedback was cited in the summarized report at 14 places. I see. Wow. And the collective work of other groups, uh, the highest is from the Punjab and the Education Group, they were cited at 30 times. I see. That was collective, but we single-handedly were cited at 14 places. I see. And that, that's a fantastic work that my team has done. And then when we began to face the challenges, how do we develop? How do we bring in more editors? How do we you know, get a strategic trajectory? We applied for grants. We made some plans, like we'll do a research, we'll analyze what we have done we'll think about what we should do, what should be the best. And we'll rede redefine our strategy, uh, redefine the trajectory, and also at the same time, uh, this would be helping other communities as well. What are the examples of some, uh, well, some, some, some well, say, this, this things you have done, articles you have written, focuses? Well, well uh, what we began, as I said, we began with writing on the Dubon Scholars. But as we began... Or in to, the mainstream Wikipedias, whichever yeah, language. Yeah, yeah, whichever. I personally to, uh, wrote on English. There are some users, those wrote on Bengali, some others wrote on Urdu. Okay. Yeah. That's from where it began. Yeah. Then uh, we got a proposal from Yoruba language. That's a Nigerian that's language, Nigerian. I guess. So we formed with them a collaborative project. I see, I see. Uh, they are in no way connected. They are some they, Islamic, they, Islamic They interest. are no way connected okay. to the Islamic tradition okay. or whatever. Okay. So we thought that since this topic is not existing on the Yoruba language, it should exist. Okay. okay. Because of the, you know, there's, uh, imagine the, a world where everyone contributes to the sum total of knowledge. So sum total of knowledge, it includes this part as well. Right. And we cannot just forget it. Yeah. It needs to be, uh, you know, taken care of in every language. So we said, okay, we give the green signals to that project. I see. And we began contributing. We'll be doing a second drive with 100 articles. I see. Perhaps after the conference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll, we are planning doing collaborations with other projects as well, like the Rwanda language. It has nothing about this. I see. Know, no connection. No connection. And then uh, when we got the strategic directions, we should be widening our focus. You know, this tradition has developed and overall, if you look at the Muslim Academy and scholarship, it's underrepresented. I recently got to know about a Muslim doctor uh, who's got Padma Shri, he's got some other awards, and there is no Wikipedia about him. And he's not a single person, there yeah. are so many others. There are books, there are institutions at a global level, yeah. from history, from contemporary times, those are not presented. So we widened our focus to the general Muslim Academy and scholarship. It should include Muslim journalists and books as well, written whether... There is a lot of scholarship in, uh, in, in India from the past decades, centuries. Yeah, there's, there's a lot that needs waiting to be... Waiting to be digitized, yeah. also waiting to be written so, so about. We have, yeah. Our, our researchers have told us that we need to, uh, you know, prepare some digitization projects because there exists a lot whether it is in English, in Urdu, in Persian and in some other Indian languages and outside Indian languages So, well. So if I understand you right Afik, the issue is that maybe where the resources exist people are not into Wikipedia uh, where, where people are into Wikipedia, they are not aware of these resources and there is a mismatch and overall the issue is underrepresentative in all, or, in all, or all, I guess, all the media. Uh, or all, I guess the problem with this underrepresentation 
is because of bias. Yeah, unawareness. It's seen as something. Un- it's seen un- as something alien and foreign and not un- a part of the culture. Unawareness is also a problem. Okay. Uh, like my friends or my classmates, they don't know about Wikipedia. They don't know about how to contribute, why I to see. contribute. I see. And it would take time to make explain. them, you know, to explain them, to uh, tell them why this is necessary. And uh, other people, since they do not know the Indian context, you're yeah. going to tell this person is not notable. Yeah. And le- let yeah. that. That's in be particularly related. happens in English Wikipedia. So. Yeah, that particularly happens there. But so I guess even in, in say Pakistan or in West Asia, they they may not understand the Indian context so well. Yeah, so so we need to have our own contributors. So for that we are trying to you know do some sort of partnership at Jamia Millia Islamia, so that we can bring in the students, train them. We are designing some sort of leadership programs I see. Uh, to bring in more people to widen the focus uh, for the subject, to include more people from the world, uh, so that they do not feel uh, a bit difficult because of the term Theoban perhaps. So we <laughs> widened it to the Oriental Islamic scholarship I as see. well. I see. So you would be writing about an Oriental scholar, though he's not a Muslim, but since he has contributed a lot, whether in a critical way, right. Positive or, or negative. Positive, positive or negative. He's part of the legacy. Yeah, yeah. So my team would be writing about their books, uh, you know, contributions, whatever they've done. So that's how we are trying to make the group more inclusive and uh, help the Wikimedia movement grow in this context. So at the end of the day, do you think Wikipedia is well suited for minority, smaller, misunderstood cultures or it's not so well suited or, or it's a mix of both and there are some problem areas which need to be ironed out? Yeah, I guess it's a mix of both. There are areas that not need to be fixed out. And for that, like, like, for that we need our community members to come forward. As I said, the context plays a great role. Like recently an article was, it was put up for deletion on English Wikipedia and the person was, uh, it was about, yeah. he was some sort of, you know, vice chancellor of a madrasa, a great madrasa in Bangladesh. He said the article should be deleted. So I questioned him, yeah. the deletion that requester, how do you feel so? He said, I do not consider this institution a worthy one. So there said, is a bias against madrasas I, also. I, I said to him, I told him that it's equal to the Delhi University because if Delhi University is the mother of its colleges, this madrasa is mother to all the madrasas in Bangladesh. So it's the major one. I see. And it meets the criteria. There is a certain uh, so suspicion sense, about madrasas. What exactly does the term mean? A center for religious studies? Well, the madrasa in general, it means a school. School. It means a school. It's an Arabic term for school. I see. So, uh, in before the British were here, it was general term for schools because uh, Mughal em- em- empire used to exist and there used to be all sort of mixed students in the madrasas. There used to be, you know, a united educational system. Then it broke up. Then came the Aligarh Muslim University. Then yeah. came other. So they started to focus on the specific subject of okay. you know, knowledge. Okay. And then the madrasa term came to be just for those that focused on Islamic studies or the Islamic sciences. I see. I see. So those I consider, consider them alternate educational institutions because they are. True. And they need to be True. considered. True. If we can form a GLAM project at a university, why should it not be, you know, formed at a madrasa? Correct. Because they've got a Sometimes we take resources. a global we take a global template and try to apply it to all parts of the world and does it exactly fit? So yeah. so so I mean like yeah, it everything need not be the same and we have to cope for diversity in it. Yeah, we have to take care of that. Mm. And of course deletionism is a big problem even yeah, <laughs> even yeah, in the English you know, Wikipedia we well, that, it's that, a tough that job kind of thing. We, are, we, are, we need to clear of some things. Yeah. Like we need to know the policies. Yeah. That's what I'm trying but to do. But it's also that you know, then this kind of knowledge is invisible because it's in a different is, language, it's yeah, not digitized is, and you know. Is, uh, new, uh, there are issues. There are like issues. I'm trying to tell my people that neutral point of view is necessary. We are not promoting someone, yeah, yeah. we are not attacking someone. Yeah. We need to provide a neutral uh, True. Knowledge, True. and it meets the criteria yeah. of the media uh, movement. Knowledge needs to be shared, but there are some obstacles that need yeah. to be taken care of. Afik, what does the yeah. name mean?